welcome to my channel. Um, so I just fil finished filming my Plan With Me video. Do you want to do pause up? Do you want to do pause up? You want to say hi? This is Millie. She says hi. She's so beautiful. I love you. Good girl. You want to cuddle, don't you? Come on up. up. You're really cute today. What's up with you? What's up with you? You're so beautiful. Um, <laughs> hey, little one. You want to do pause up again? Do you want to come see me? Come here, pause up. No. Sorry, guys. I baby talk to my dog. Because she's a baby and she deserves it. I don't even know where I'm looking. There's my camera. There you are. Um, so, yeah. I just finished my Plan With Me video and I want to film another story time. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. Yay! And this story time um, is a story that I don't tell very often. In fact, I don't even know if my husband knows it. So there you go, guys. Exclusive. And... <laughs> It's one that was kind of funny. Um, I basically, it's going to be my first and like only ever proper sleepover. I sl I've slept over people's houses when I like as a teenager, but I don't kind of count that as a sleepover. A sleepover, in my opinion, is when you get together with a whole big group of girls or boys and you have activities that you do and you eat pizza and you watch a film or something and that that's a sleepover not just like going over someone's house spending the, the whole day like walking around and then um like sit the city or something and then just crashing <laughs> that's not a sleepover in my opinion anyway um so i've had a bunch of like crash sessions or sessions where i've stayed over people's houses because we've spent all day together um maybe walked around New York or at Disney World or something, and it's just been a lot simpler and safer for me to do that. Um, <laughs> Millie's just going to, oh, could you see my dear? You're beautiful in every way, because I love her so much. You're so cute, and you're pushing me around. Hello, look at that. So I was maybe nine. Maybe nine. Was I nine, even? I might have been younger than nine. I could have been like eight or something and I remember it pretty vividly and there was this girl in my town who was also Portuguese and her name was, I don't know, oh, should I say her name or should I say a different name? I'm not going to use last names and they probably have moved on. Should I? Whatever. Okay, let's call her Clarissa. It's not her name, but we'll call her Clarissa. And Clarissa was having a sleepover and I was very excited because I'd never been to one. I don't know if I hadn't been to one just because I wasn't invited to them. Um, I grew up in a quite a weird way. My mom wasn't the best parent and um, that kind of stopped me from pe like people wanting to invite me over <laughs> um, because she just was not a very nice person um yeah so basically Clarissa didn't care about that and she wanted to invite me and a bunch of girls from class to her sleepover and that was very exciting and I, it like made my childhood <laughs> at that point um because up until then I'd only seen sleepovers on tv and stuff like and um, you know in films and stuff so her parents have to talk to my mom and my mom only let me go over because her parents were Portuguese. <sighs> um, so I don't know what kind of logic that is, but I was very grateful that they were Portuguese because otherwise I wouldn't even have had that experience. So I went over to Clarissa's house and was very excited. I had my little sleep, my little pajamas. What I didn't have or basic things, um, though, like, did I bring a toothbrush? I don't even think I brought a toothbrush. Maybe I just didn't care because I was eight and it was a sleepover and I didn't think about brushing my teeth. I don't know. But, um, there are a whole bunch of things that I didn't have, but I did have my pajamas because that, in my opinion, was what you saw them change into. <laughs> and that was the most important thing. Um, so I go to sleepover crazy things happen at the sleepover like everyone's great together and then there was like a fight that 
eight-year-old fight of like pulling hair and it being a competition to see who could pull someone's hair the hardest. I don't know what our problem was. Um, but something that, something you might not know about me is that I'm like an extremely nervous pooer. I can't have someone just listening to me poo, not even my own husband. I, if I know someone's going to be around me or go into the toilet afterwards, I freak out. Um, I just can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I find it very difficult in public places to poo. I just, I get really nervous. I hate it. Oh. <laughs> um, I carry around poopery in my bag all the time. Um, and even then I still freak out because I'm like, clearly it's still even though it does its job of protecting most of the scent it doesn't do the full job it can't it's impossible they're like gases that are released from your tush anyway i needed to poo which is like the worst thing that could happen to me and little eight-year-old rebecca so <laughs> i want to go to the toilet like a ninja so i don't want to use like the toilet that the rest of the girls were using. I want to use the toilet that I noticed because I'm that person that clocks the furthest toilet. Oh, sorry. The furthest toilet and like tries not to go into the main toilets anywhere ever um, in, a, in a place. So I clocked this toilet ages ago and was like, right, I'm going to go use that toilet. Now I'm pretty sure it was like, no, there was no bathtub in it or anything. It was just a little tiny toilet up and away from the party. It could have been closer to, like, the kitchen. The parents didn't really want us leaving this living room area that we were in. And I went, tiptoed to the toilet. The party was still going. The girls were still awake and stuff. And the mom calls me out. And she's like, Rebecca! What are you doing? Because I'm walking away from the party <laughs> in front of everyone. And I was like, oh, nothing. And she was like, come back here. And I was like, no. <laughs> Clearly, this chick is going to the toilet, right? I'm going to the toilet, lady. Just because I'm not using the toilet that everyone else is using doesn't mean that I'm like going to go wander through your house. And she was like, come back here. And I was like, no, I'm just, um, I've got to go in here. And I didn't want to tell her. I was so embarrassed. I still, like, to this day, hate it. And she was like, she just kept pushing. She was like, well, what are you doing? What are you going to do? Where? What? I was like, really, lady? I'm telling you I need to go in the toilet. And then I was like, I can't. I genuinely turned to her and I was like, I can't tell you. And then, ding! A little light bulb goes off in this woman's brain. It was kind of dim. <laughs> she, at like nine years old, I'm pretty sure I was nine. I couldn't have been much older at all. Um, she thought I had got my period. Which I'm sure is possible and does happen, but it didn't happen to me. And she was like, oh, I know what you mean, wink. I went in, was like, thank goodness, I'm being given some privacy, I do my duty. I get out of the toilet, I come into the room with all the other girls, and everyone thinks I have my period. Now, if you were a girl, if you were ever a nine-year-old girl at any point in your life, you will know that you were very interested in what happens when you have your period. I, being the eldest daughter, in my family with a mother who is not very forthcoming in anything had no clue about periods at this point they hadn't done that talk thing um and even when they did the talk thing with us i remember being given like a couple little pads and maybe a tampon and being like what is this <laughs> being fascinated and wearing it without having my period just so I could see what it was like <laughs> not the tampon I had no clue what that did or where it even went but um the pads and stuff so I every little girl is fascinated and I'm sure very excited about getting their period for the first time <laughs> um 
it's also kind of scary getting your period for the first time when you actually do get it. So I didn't tell anyone the first time I got it. But anyway, I had not got it this time, right? And now a full room full of girls, there must have been at least 10, 15 girls in this group, thought I had my period and they all quizzed me. They were like, how much comes out? What do you do? Where does this happen? How long does it last? I remember telling them like 20 days. <laughs> like, I don't even know. I could, I was caught in this web and I, I wanted to just shout out, I just needed to poo, leave me alone. Um, but I didn't because I was embarrassed. And yeah, I basically led on an entire school year into thinking that I had my period really early and that I knew com everything I was talking about. Um, and I didn't. I told them my period lasts around 20 days. <laughs> um, and I told them, I remember distinctly, this was an okay answer. They said like, how much comes out? And I said, not very much. And I think that's because I wasn't lying. <laughs> because nothing came out. Um, I think like they asked me if I preferred pads or tampons and I just like said pads and I just, they kind of asked kind of leading questions and for questions where they wanted specific details or amounts, I just made them up completely. So I don't know if by some miracle, one of you ladies was at that, um, sleepover but if you just happen to be <laughs> leave a comment down below on what answer I gave you to your question on periods yeah embarrassing all because I needed to poo that's me <laughs> if you guys are nervous pooers and you're brave enough to admit it let me know down below um, I'd be interested in knowing that I'm not alone out there in the world um, yeah, and I hope you were entertained by another story time with Rebecca. Until next time, guys. Bye!